Hey guys, Nancy Leah here with this week's Focal. In this week for our group of traditional archery, we will be shooting a group of three at 19 yards. I'll be shooting my Zipper SXT recurve with carbon Z4 lens, and she is 35 pounds. And we'll be using our traditional only arrows. So last time we chatted, I had showed you arrow one of three of pressed it out arrows that I want to use as my broadhead arrows. And it was this one. It's actually a broadhead on it now. So that's the one I showed you and I added some helical bat wing feathers. So the other two, the second one, I ended up instead of doing the orange and red, I left it with just the red and silver. I thought it was really pretty. And then arrow three, which I actually have to do a, a feather, a feather on feather fixer up here this afternoon. And this one I did, I mixed up a nice shade of orange and then I added in some thin red and silver lines. Super happy with them. So today we'll just shoot some non-crested up arrows with a field point, no broadheads. So I just wanted to kind of catch up. I haven't made a focal video in two weeks, the week before um, archery season opened up. So archery season opened up about a week and a half ago on Saturday and although I was super excited for the season to start, I knew I was going to be doing what I did the last two years, which was hunting in um, the general location of my home. The, um, okay. Sorry about that. Sometimes I honestly just get nervous and forget how to speak basic English. So archery season. So what I was trying to say was so I went into this season thinking it was going to be like my first and second season with the bow which was to hunt our property around the house and then we also have a lease that is right up against our property. So that's exactly what I did but year one and year two I was used to an early season just seeing a couple of does here and there. Um, seeing a couple of bucks here and there too. Nothing really big or mature or anything um, but overall very quiet early season so I went out this past Saturday expecting the same thing to go down right and I go out there and right off the back I'm seeing tons of doe a spike and then a bigger uh, buck later on in the morning so I was like wow okay well that's a great start so I went out that evening to a different location still on this hill and to a spot that I actually was not a fan of hunting at the past two years at all, which is actually where I ended up the majority of last week. So I went out there Saturday evening and just kind of wanted to scope it out, see if I saw anything, and I seen, so it's up on this hilltop and there's acorns that are coming down right now, so popular area. So I see a group of doe to my left hanging out, eating, and then there's a group of doe to my right that were coming in also eating and then shortly thereafter I seen a nice eight point buck and he never came close enough that evening but even so <clears throat> I was like wow this is sweet like there's all these deer out here already and like I said I was never a fan of this location to begin with so I climbed out of there and the following day was Sunday can hunt in PA on Sunday still um, my son actually shot a buck on Saturday night with his crossbow. So Sunday morning we went out and recovered his buck. The following day, Monday, <clears throat> and actually every day last week, my husband was kind enough to manage to get some days at home instead of at work so that he could hold the fort down and take care of the kiddo and our dog who got spayed. Poor dog. She's doing better. But anyhow, so I got out every morning and every evening last week, and same thing happened in the same location. I would get there, whether it was morning or evening, and deer would just surround this little hill. So I've been using my saddle setup and um, like a mobile system steps and a platform. So what I did all week was just jump from tree to tree until I was where I thought I would be able to have one of these deer come to me and give me an opportunity to shoot. And so, <clears throat> I believe it was Tuesday morning, had gotten set up, quiet morning so far, and then around 8 o'clock, I seen 
a handsome eight point buck coming right to my left. So this was perfect. I was already facing my tree in my saddle, ready. Um, you know, my knees were shaking, my everything was just feeling weak, and he came up and I thought, all right, he's at 15 yards, this couldn't get any better. So I drew back and I let it go. And before I even had the thought of, wow, that was a perfect shot, I watched my arrow super, super slowly, just dip just a couple feet in front of this beautiful buck that gave me a perfect opportunity to shoot him right into the ground. So he looked up at me and then he decided he was just going to walk the other direction where he stayed the remainder of that time and ate acorns. So then, then, not 10-15 minutes later, I see another buck coming from my right and I was like, yes, the Lord is throwing me a freaking bone today. And so he came over just a few feet over from where that first buck was and same thing. I drew, I anchored, and I let it go, and that arrow sailed right over its back. <clears throat> so the first one I got on a video, not only did I see it in almost slow motion with my own eyes, but I saw it on video, flat out missed. Second one, there was no video footage, but I knew it went over its back. In fact, it was in a tree, so I knew for certain it went over its back um, so when the time came I got down I went to arrow one and I realized I completely misjudged the distance I should have been shooting for uh, 20 yards not 15 yards so that is why my arrow went into the ground at 15 yards and not up higher into um, where we want it to be and it was actually the opposite with the second buck I shot thinking I was at 20 but was actually at 15 yards and so it sailed right over his back. So <clears throat> disappointed in myself although I know I shouldn't be as all the as I've been learning within my traditional archery journey that this is a tough sport. It's hard to factor everything in from the shot itself to positioning to the timing and you know, what directions the deer coming or going and the wind and everything. And my biggest issue is judging distances. I'm not very good at judging them out even in the yard, let alone in the woods. And but I thought I thought after three years with the trad bow, you know, I at least knew my fifteen and twenty yardages. Apparently not. So I'm gonna start walking off the steps when I get to my tree before I set up so I have kind of a, a guesstimate you know about this area is 10 yards about this area is 15 and 20 so just wanted to share that experience um, and like my mentor says nothing to be ashamed of try to miss this so anyhow thanks for letting me share let's head on over and shoot these arrows I think I have a good group actually. Really hope you can see it on the video. Yay. That makes me feel a little better. Um, like I had said, I know it's nothing to be ashamed of per se, but can't help but still feel a little bit disappointed in myself. But I realize that this will definitely help me grow. So. So, hope you're having an awesome week, awesome weekend. Even though it's Wednesday, I usually don't make these 
other than Sundays, but um, I hope your archery season is going good. Get your videos up and look forward to